How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I know you guys have been waiting for another Will It Start video. You know, they're hard to come by, believe it or not. So we found one, though. We found an old abandoned drag line that's been sitting in the woods. What did he say, Brown, to 40 years? I think so. He said 40 years is what he said. So the guy that actually owns this property has got this for sale. I'll leave his email below. It's got a cat 318 in it, and we're going to see if we can't get it started. You got to stick around. I got the normal crew with me here. I've got Brandel up here. Say hey, Brandel. Hey, hey, everybody. Yeah, and then Tommy. Can you see? Can you see Tommy back there in the yeah, back window? <laughs> All right. So this is an old drag line that they had. They was digging a pond. It's got a Cat 318 in it. All the levers are frozen up on it, so you can see it here. Man, what a big hunk of metal this is, huh? Hey, it, it did have a fan though. It did have uh, operator comfort. <laughs> So what we're going to do, three inch fan <laughs> a, a three inch fan. So it was, I mean, obviously the operator was comfortable. Look how bad those tracks are buried. And look at the trees that are growing up through the boom here. Look at that. So we're actually going to cut down some of these just so we have better access. Let me go over here and show you where the bucket is. I think the bucket was, he said it was laying in the woods over here somewhere. So let me see if I can find it. There it is. Let's go check out this bucket. Try not to get snake bit. That little bucket sitting out there. I don't know if you can see it through here, but the, the cable actually goes all the way up to the boom. But this is the old dredge bucket. Let me get back up in here. I'm gonna look back here at the bucket. That's pretty awesome, man. That's awesome. You can see that it's still connected to the boom itself. Look at the size of the links on those chains. It's crazy. That's crazy, ain't it? Let's take a little closer look here. So what they would do is they would get the material out. They would swing this thing out and kind of pitch it. Man, you talk about an orchestrated effort. That thing's crazy. No hydraulics at all. No hydraulics at all. No. <laughs> Them kung fu moves. Film this over here. This is the other side of the engine. I'll get up here and get you a better look at it here in a sec. And then the battery box is here. Man, that's a big battery box. Got plenty of grease on it. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Man, all right. You twill oil on these things. That's what James said. Yeah. Tommy, have you got, you know, what's your, what's your uh, history on drag lines and stuff? Yeah, the only time I had in dealing with a drag line, I think it was in 1975. Yeah. It got so wet, I was working for an international paper company right. in the woodland. Right. But it got so wet, they couldn't get no wood to the mill. Wow. I mean, in the whole country, the mill was shutting down because of no wood. <laughs> and it, I was on a fire crew in the in the woodlands and uh, we had D4 tractors that we plowed fire with. So okay. They, they put us out there with the, with the D4 tractors and chainsaws and cutting wood to get it to them. We, we had an old drag line that looked just like this one. And that's what we used to load the, oh load the logs with on the trailers to get to the- A drag the line. <laughs> Yeah, that's that crazy. Quite an experience. Yeah, yeah, I bet so. That's that's probably not the most efficient way to do things, but uh, yeah, kind of crazy. Hey, we're going to get in here, but you know, we're doing all this cool will it start stuff. There's a friend of mine I've been watching lately. His channel name is Country Life, and I'll leave his link over here in this corner right here. He does. You talking about some really really cool will it start videos? Country Life is his channel. Go check it out. Tell him Hamiltonville Farm sent you. If you like my content, if you especially like my will it start videos, you're going to love his stuff, man. He puts out videos all the time about really old equipment things like that that uh that he gets cranked up and he's got a brandle he does really yeah his name's joe so andrew is uh, is the guy's name and his buddy's joe so he's he's got a brandle that's so. awesome so 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 an incompetent pretty boy <laughs> so basically he's basically he's good looking but he doesn't yeah. know anything yeah that's it yeah that's awesome. <laughs>
Good to know. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so go check out Andrew. Tell him Hamiltonville Farm sent you. We're gonna crank this thing up. American Crane Company. I seen the serial number on the. I saw that. I, well, maybe it was a serial number on that engine. While I get up there, hold on a second. This might make it a little easier for us to climb up and down on. By the way, if you're interested in buying this, I'll put their email below. There, you know, this thing's for sale for the engine, maybe for scrap metal. So if you're interested in it, check out the owners of it. I hope it ain't this dark in the whole video. Should have brought a light. I know, right? If I'm not mistaken, this thing used to have a pony motor in it, and they've converted it. We don't have to deal with. Well, I mean, obviously we don't see a pony motor, but interesting. So one. Here's the top half of it. There's the gears for the winch. Let's check the water in it. All right, nice and dry. <laughs> we like it, man. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna put some water in it first. Where do these, where do these wires right here go, Hank? Um, these two right here, like this, this lamp wire here, <laughs> and then this. Yeah, let me look in the front here. I oh, man, I'm too fat to fit in between there. Yeah, me too. Hold on, I'm gonna get on the other side. I don't think I have to be worried about wasps. All right, shake those wires one more time, Brandel. All right, so this this lamp wire, that double lamp wire right there. Uh, it goes to some gauge back here, let me see. Oh yeah, I see it right there. No, it's going, oh, it's just sitting open. Yeah, it's it's just sitting open. Oh, okay, so that right there is the old key spot. Oh yeah, probably, yeah, that's the old, right. The old push button. Yeah, the old push button. It goes to this, yep, there you go. And then this wire. And this here. black one. This one. Uh, that one, yeah. All right, let me follow that it. That one going right there next to it. And this goes down here into the amperage. Okay. It yeah, goes to your, sense, yeah. yeah. Good on your tetanus shot? Uh, that's what I was wondering about. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Like, Here's an old wrench of some sort. Let's see. Is that starting fluid? What do I got in here? It looks like some. I better not want to. Bars late. They got a can a bottle of bars leak <laughs> okay so we know we need water and we know we need well i don't know we haven't checked oil yet here is an hour meter let me that's cool let me see if i can get a shot of this hour meter 569 5695 there's a one too isn't there do i see a one? Oh, one. yeah 15 yeah 15 so we got 15 thousand hours on almost sixteen thousand. is that right can that be right oh yeah <laughs> Almost sixteen thousand hours on. Is there is there a is there a dot or a different color? Different yeah, color. Yeah, like a decimal. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see one. Maybe there might be, but fifteen six ninety five. So I think that's just whole numbers. This thing got sixteen thousand hours on it. Golly, that's a lot. That's a lot. I think this might be the that. I think that might be the oil right here. No, well, no, that's mounted on onto the fuel pump. That's that has something to do with the fuel pump itself. All right. Well, I think. What about so that? what is this? Yeah, is that if you can twist it? Let me see if I can get some liquid wrench in here. Me. Try to get that dipstick, or what we assume is the yeah. dipstick. Yeah, I think right. it is. I don't see anything else dipstickery. Oh, that, that worked like a champ. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Don't now try to just pull up on it. Oh, it's a oh, it's a primer. Oh, that's the fuel primer? Yeah, it's a primer. Okay. Well, how about that? Okay. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> where would a dipstick be? I'm not sure. Uh, over here, like I said, oh, haha. -ha. You find it? I found it. All right, hold on, I'm getting over there. I can't come this way, I gotta go back out the other way. All right, where's your dipstick? It's over here on this side, on the side of the fuel filter, or the old filters. Oh yeah, I got some oilage. Yeah, that's not bad. At least, I mean, that's as long as it's got some. Yeah, get you some, right? Yeah. Right, here's the uh, the oil fill. Yeah. Good alternator wiring there. <laughs> of course, has probably been converted from a voltage regulator generator. Yeah, because it's got this one wire that's still connected to yeah. the that probably went up to a, a, a gauge. All right, let's see. Let me put some water in it right quick. 
I didn't realize this take would take 45 minutes, Hank. <laughs> I like that. Hope it don't leak anywhere. We're about to find out. Okay, we probably need to think about how we cut it off. Yeah, we'd have to just pull the fuel from it. Worst case scenario. By the way, have we established where the fuel tank is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it maybe right down here. Alright, yeah, that's probably real. <laughs> you would think we would do a little more research before we come out here. No, no. Research, man. Who needs that? We're just going to come and do it. We're doers around here. Honey. That's right. So we've only used a chainsaw so far. <laughs> hey, we got something special to show those guys here in a minute when we start this thing up. We brought the like the real. Master. Oh, I know, right? It ain't yeah. it ain't a master key like you guys think about. It's a no kidding. This one, this one's yeah. legit now. That's it. We're actually bringing out real mechanics tools on yeah, this yeah. on this video. Hey, I found another wrench. All right. Let me risk my life to get it. Let me stand on my head, fellas. We know that it's a real classic machinery when you find find an old Ford six point wrench laying in it, right here. No, it's not. So we're looking for where to put the fuel in. <laughs> you know, we ain't never worked on one of these things and it's kind of, it's different. We're learning. It's pretty awesome. So all you mechanics out there that have worked on these in the past, you're going to be like, you knuckleheads, the, the filler cap it's is right, right, it's right there in it's front right of you. There. So, you know, we'll find it. Give us a chance. Hold on just a second. Think you find it, Brent? Yeah, me and Tommy have been playing with this thing for like 20 minutes, <laughs> oh. half an hour ago. Oh, yeah. There oh. you go. Yeah, that's it right there. What is that thing? Yeah. Hey, I got a sledgehammer. Oh, is that mine? Yeah, sure would. I, I tried to knock that over uh, a little bit. There you go. All right, well, I'll go get some fuel. It probably needs fuel, would be my guess. <laughs> That's funny, Tom. It had to be somewhere convenient for the operator yeah, to put. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. What does it look like in there? Can't see. No, you, you know, I feel like, I, I literally you feel like, you don't want to get in there, Hank? Dude, I, I literally feel like I, my head is on your butt crack here, so <laughs> I'll add some. Well, ain't going to hurt it. Tommy, here right there is a special measuring device. Oh, yeah. You got the fuel, you're standing on the fuel stick. <laughs> yeah, you're is that even going to make it? Oh, it's oh, got, yeah. oh, yeah. Let me smell that stuff. That's what mechanics do, they smell yeah. it. Hold on a second. Uh, it don't smell very good. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> That smells like they own kerosene or something. But I think it's got plenty in it. Oh yeah, it's got a lot. Whatever it is, it's got a lot of it. Brandall. Yeah. So we got we got fuel. Got fuel. Got oil. Got oil. Got water. Got water. So now we need spark. Yeah, we need yeah. Yeah. There you go. We need a lightning box. A lightning box. All right, here we go. So let's put these batteries in. How can we let the old man carry the heavy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Probably need to clean these connectors up. I'll take my pocket knife to do that, but it's set up for 24 volt system here. Yeah. You got two boxes here. You got this box here, and then you got the box on the other side. You can't see what we'll to lift the yeah. battery up there. And, and then, so the reason why we know it's 24 volt is because it's got this short jumper, and then it's got one red, used to be red, and one black. Right. So you put a positive and a negative, then you take the two 24s, put them together. That's right. Or two 12s to put them together to make 24 with that guy. So you hook one side positive to the other side negative. All right, let's put these back. Well, let me clean these terminals up real quick. All right, that looks pretty good. You got your crescent wrench in your pocket? <laughs> Not in my pocket, so. I got a crescent wrench in my pocket. Do you got a crescent wrench in your pocket? For real? Yeah. All right, because my- better hands off. Yeah. Better. Yeah, all right, I'll take this. Hold on, I, I'm so disappointed in myself. Mine's actually in my toolbox. There you go. Gotta make sure I keep my pocket crescent wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty excited about the lack of tools we've used today. <laughs> there you go. You gotta hold your mouth right. There you go. Don't worry, Hank, we're gonna ruin that lack of tools. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pretty soon, right? Yeah, yeah. But we're starting with a crescent wrench. That's the that's important right. part. Yeah. As long as the crescent wrench is used, that's what we're shooting for. If you've made it this far into the video, what's the odds? What, what's my over under that uh, we're gonna get this thing <laughs> that we're gonna get this thing cranked up <laughs> you know these old things pre-computers nothing to it but to, you know if you got fuel combustion and air 
you're you're good to go you know i think our chances are, are good brandall here's the thing hank pre-computer post pony yeah so yeah. there's a sweet spot yeah there's a sweet spot <laughs> yeah that's a, a true spot. statement and it's pretty cool for us that they got rid of the pony motor and we ain't got to deal with that mess off camera we've been talking about the throttle we are assuming that this is the throttle here because of the, it's got this wire cable that goes through that snatch box snatch block here yeah snatch block and then into that clutch here. system beside the fuel pump yeah so what happens is that cable came through this snatch block and then into this little retainer here and that's what allowed the throttle to be pulled this way and then the shutoff is right here which i don't really i, I think i want to say it went to this right here yeah. that's my guess and i can't see how that it came to here though but then when that got pulled what happens is then this the shutoff gets pulled down here this is the throttle the the revs up and then that shut that shut off there and it's it's a, a re retained position there yeah i think you're right so, yeah. and again i think that's that's what this hand this this lever was for here all these are like brakes and uh, swivel you know to swivel the gear the the turntable and all that stuff i don't know we could be 100 percent wrong but i ain't never been wrong but i ain't you know a few times have i been right yeah. <laughs> The reason why we're really concerned about that is because once we put the batteries in, if this thing cranks up, we need a way to shut it off. You know, that's what we've been talking about. Hey, what's the shut off plan? That's one thing we learned from the, the grader video that we that we've done is we had to take the fuel line off that motor grader to get it to stop because we left it we actually brought a block of wood with us if you remember and we forgot to put it over the air intake but this one doesn't have that easy the access switch, switch would pull up on the motor grader yeah and switch, switch off. i don't think this one has a yeah i don't think so neither but anyway so now we're going to run these batteries i don't know and we might we might try to crank it after we put the batteries on who knows let's try it that's the mate put this over here You ready to connect these two, Brandall? I mean, yeah, I think we can, yeah. That's the ground, I think. I wonder, are the cables long enough? I hope so. I don't feel like they're long enough. Ain't that other wire red up there? Yeah, the other wire is what it used to be red, yeah. Once we put this on, we gotta find out where the actual starter button is. Got our ground wire here, to our positive, to our negative, to our positive. So they're running in a series, not parallel. So we think we're... I'm so proud of you, Brandon. I know, look at that, man. You're rubbing off on me, Hank, in none of the good ways. <laughs> so I'm just a little bit. Ah, uh, they're going to be tight. Yeah. Uh, you got your crescent you, for you the get post, right off that battery if it ain't on that 24 volt system. You might try that, try 9 16 on that other thing. That old it's a square. Right, yeah, just lift 9 16 out of the thing. Just take it off and it just kind of work it, it, it back and forth. And like work it both ways. Work it, Hank. <laughs> Oh, this one's easy, yeah. Surprising. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't don't try to use the crescent wrench for the camera, Hank. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Is it working? Now work on that jumper there. Nine sixteenths on this one. I probably need another nine sixteenths. Look, look what it. Uh, golly. Hank, you're going to need to buy us a service truck so we can have us a vice and all that. I know. One of these days, I'm going to get good enough to figure out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing on <laughs> When we were working the bolt on this terminal here, we broke it, so I had to go get another one. But we got this one to work. So we got this one to work, this one to work. This one we replaced, and now he's working on this one. Use your man hands. Yeah, I don't have any of them. <laughs> My hands are too pretty. There you go. It's going to break, probably. Nah. Gotta have faith, man. Gotta have faith. <laughs> this might be the very first video where Brandall <laughs> does his George Michael impression. Oh, or was that the Limp Biscuit version? <laughs> yeah, no, the George Michael, I need a, uh, I need a, uh, a, a blue jean jacket. <laughs> We're making progress, folks. This is driving Hank crazy that I'm taking this 58-year-old rusty <laughs> it is. bolt. It is. And trying to clean the rust off of it. Dude, it's driving me crazy. I'm like, why are you doing that, dude? Just do it. Anyway. It is what I do. Hey, 
if you didn't catch the question earlier about the over under on what, if this thing's going to start or not, are the odds going up or are the odds going down? I think the odds are going up. I think you know? they're going up. I think the odds are going up. I think we are making progress. I think so too, man. I'm excited about this. Are you guys excited about that? Leave a comment below if you're excited. Hey, I know you guys love these will it start videos and we love making them, but you know they they're hard to find, but we try our best to find them. But in the interim. If you would watch our tractor videos, man, we'd appreciate that. But we do a lot of work on our Branson compact tractor. So if you guys would watch those videos as well, just to kind of stay up to date on what's happening on Hamiltonville Farm, that would that would really help us out a lot because these will it start videos, I mean, we're searching for them all over the place. And when we find them, we go do them. But you you guys will uh, stick with us. We, we would appreciate that. I'm cleaning it, Hank. I know you That's are. I do. I know. <laughs> oh, my God. Next time. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, for the next guy, 58 years later. <laughs> hey, probably $2,000 worth of scrap iron in there. No. I would right. think so. I would think so. This sucker's heavy, dude. I mean, the day going track chains are probably two or 3,000 pounds. So the guy that had this crane was digging a pond 40 years ago, and evidently he went to go, he started the pond, he went to go get a permit from the city or the county or something like that to actually do the pond, and they denied him the permit. And so he got mad. He got mad at the local authorities, and he's just like, "Well, you know, the heck with y'all. I'm going to leave my crane sitting in my yard." And that's literally this crane has been sitting here. Well, he said 40 years. I yeah. think he said. So it's been sitting here 40 years. Now I don't know how long it's been. I mean, he it's been sitting here 40 years. When is the last time it was cranked? I don't know. This guy. He said, "The heck with the local local politics, man. I'm not uh, using." It. Why he didn't finish building the pond and then ask for forgiveness, I don't know. That's what that's what a lot of people around here would have done. I'm glad you took time to clean up that bolt. Perfectly man. usable 58-year-old bolt. <laughs> and and the viewers got a good story out of it. They did, well, that's so, true. I mean, While that's you were it. working, I mean, we did I'm, tell a I'm, good story. Look, I, I'm a content creator. Uh, so, yes, you are. And and a, a, a Hamiltonville Farm Master Mechanic. Yeah. So you're really, you got a lot I'm, going for you is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> We probably need to give you a raise. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could give me a 100% raise. So. All right, let's get this thing. Before we start talking about more money, let's uh, <laughs> let's get this thing cranked up here. I tested those batteries last night before we brought them out. They've got juice in them. I heard a sizzle. I heard a sizzle. Woot, woot. Uh oh. Is that your clean bolt? That no, it was the, the whole terminal. It was the whole terminal. Uh oh. It was the whole daggone terminal. Is it still on there, though? I mean, it's still on there. Doggone it. See, you cleaned that bolt up for nothing, man. Look at that. Yep, you sure did. Look at them man hands, Hank. <laughs> doggone it. Uh, I said it'll work. Well, we can try it anyway. Yeah, what do you think, Tom? Yeah, it'll burn the post right off that battery when you hit the starter. Wiggle the wire, see if the wire's tight. I think it'll work, dude. It's, it's, it's thin. It's going to work, dude, I promise you. We've got another you. nowhere we can put on it. We do have another one. Do we have another one? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to... A regular terminal? All right, let's find one. I'll find one for you, Brandel. I'd rather do that than burn up a $140 battery. Oh, uh, yeah. Me too, to be honest with you. We actually found another terminal off of... Uh, he had old Crown Vic stuck in the back of his shop over there. <laughs> look, look at that strength. Broke that thing right in half with Man, that... I'm telling you. With that, <laughs> that you are, e easily breakable lid. <laughs> you are basically... Uh, Ar the Arnold Schwarzenegger is basically trapped in your body. Uh, I mean, it, he really is. <laughs> I mean, it's... You know, just, just call me She-Hulk. <laughs> She-Hulk. <laughs> you know what I think is awesome? We've graduated from a crescent wrench to a sledgehammer. To an eight pound sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm powerful enough for lead, but not for copper. That's where she hulk strength stop. <laughs> Is that your kryptonite? Yeah. My kryptonite. First, first. How, how does that song go? <laughs> yeah. Listen, we're getting, I didn't realize we was going to get the top 40 uh, yeah. mixtape from Brandel yeah. over here today. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, who, who sung that song? Train? Uh, Nickelback? Nickelback. Creed? Creed, I think. Maybe. Creed? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all yeah, leave in the comments below if you remember who yeah, sang who, that who song, Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Uh, yeah. Maroon 5? Yeah, I mean, all... I don't know. I don't listen to that garbage. Yeah. yeah. All well-respected bands. <laughs> if it ain't George Jones or Elvis Presley, I don't know about it. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing and get all the grunting out of this thing. Yeah, that's it. So I think we're almost ready to hook the magic tool up. Remember how I told you guys earlier that we had the master key, but I didn't, it's not the master key. It's not a screwdriver, I'll tell you that. We actually upgraded and we brought out something in Brandel's arsenal and we're gonna try it today. So I've used it one time. <laughs> Just once? Just once. That's awesome. 
it's about 38 years old. Yeah. What you got, Tommy? Look at that, huh? Dun, 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 dun. We got a starter switch. The fancy key switch. Look at that, man. All right, what are we talking about here? So, again, I'm not a real mechanic. I don't know anything about how to do work on old stuff. But this nice lamp cord wire right here runs up to the front to the starter button. That's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my fancy handy dandy starter button one side on each one of these legs, which would be down here on the starter solenoid wire here, as you can see. Yeah. And then one right here. I don't have a on relay. The starter lug. Doesn't have a relay. It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's direct to the daggone starter. I think it looks like. All right. So we'll see what happens, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on brother <laughs> I, our batteries are good because as i'm trying to clean this lug i'm grounding through the engine and getting a tickle <laughs> so um, of all the times i didn't have it on the recording on i know right so let's go ahead and, and just get that off <laughs> i'm gonna try to prime it here while he's working on that let me go ahead and stand on the floor this bleeder valve here but we're not getting any any pressure on the primer pump is there another valve or is that the only one tommy i got a yellow and black dewalt socket set in my toolbox if you'll grab it it's on the left side thank you wow that handle's hot <laughs> Here, let me hold it and you take the pole out. Yeah, it's probably smarter. <laughs> this might be a stupid question, but can you reverse fuel, like pour fuel down in there? What we might do is we can pour fuel in it. Yeah, that's what this says. Well, right, but... <laughs> what, what, what I mean, so I wanted to clarify your point. Oh, okay. Is pour fuel in it to, to prime it up to here. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, let's, let's take this down and take it apart and see... Because I think it might just be that that O-ring just is, is shot in. All right. So we'll see what this looks like on the inside. Okay. Now, what is that, Tom? This is the old timey power saw. Before they had a chainsaw, this is what they sawed put wood and firewood with. Uh, it had two belts that run back to the motor, the eight horse motor. Pull a pin and turn it over and saw it down and put it back up and buck it up. Yeah. My granddaddy used to saw firewood and sell it. And he was in the woods by himself one day and he, his pin slipped out. And that thing turned, sawed his leg off. Oh no! This oh, much. Yeah. He just had a little bit, and him in the woods by himself. Oh no! He hollered and hollered and hollered and almost bled to death. And two guys were across the ridge over, and they heard him hollering. One of them said, "That man sounds like he's in trouble. We better go check on him." <laughs> yeah. And they went over and got him and throwed him in the back of his truck and took him out and got down to him. And they sewed his leg back on, and <laughs> he, he lived to be a hundred years old. And that's pretty pretty neat right there. This thing right here, what it'll do? Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you I go. I would take this thing apart and crack that thing up. There you go. I've never taken one of these apart, so I don't know what to expect. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah. That O-ring. Like I say I don't know what to expect, but I I don't think that that I should expect that. Yeah, that's what do you right. think, Tom? Nah, that looks pretty bad. And then I guess is that supposed to be an O-ring right yeah. there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they yeah they supposed to be O-rings right there too, ain't they? Oh yeah, I, I just thought it was garbage in there. Oh yeah, see they're supposed to be cramped. Yeah, yeah. See, it looks like it's supposed to be cramped O-rings mm -hmm. right there. Yep. Huh. Uh oh. Well, I don't think we're going to be priming. priming it by hand, are we? Hmm. Wow, that's pretty bad shape. Yeah, I know it, right? I'm sitting here thinking as I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Guess. I wonder if like. Oh, it, that's supposed to be a rubber washer. That's right. right. I, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, it's a rubber washer, not an O-ring, because that nut comes off of it right there or the screw hmm welpers like my manly parts washing <laughs> well, at least be able to see what what we need to get what we're working with, right? show me what you're working with <laughs> <laughs> top 40 all day every day around here right? i don't know why that became a theme for today's video People are probably watching this video thinking, these clowns. I know, right? I don't understand. Like, I understand this. I mean, this is going to be your wiper. But I don't understand what the purpose of, like, the captured O-rings here are. Right? <laughs> like, I was thinking at first, like, you know, pry these out. Or not pry them out, but, like, bring them back together so that they're closer to wiping down the edge of the cylinder. But that doesn't seem to make sense either. Let me tell you all the plan that we devised here. First of all, we're going to 
take this cover off here. This is our this is our fuel filter cap, we think, because it's got this bleeder valve here. And so we're gonna take this off, pour fuel down in it, pour fuel down anywhere that we've got a spot that we can pour fuel in, we're gonna try to pour fuel in it. And hopefully that kind of helps fill up the system before it gets rid of the air, replaces the air with fuel basically. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna that's what we've been talking about. We'll see. I'm gonna fill this bad boy up with fuel. See how that works. Put the primer pump back on it. Don't you reckon if that's the fuel filter? I mean, it's got to be, right? Because there's no other fuel filter anywhere. It looks like the fuel filter. Should have brought an impact gun. Yeah. I got one in the. I'm glad they put this stud about 40 inches long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a long. And it's heated up to about 483 degrees Celsius. Too. <laughs> but the good thing is, the stud I'm cleaning it like crazy as I'm taking <laughs> well, it. Up. Listen, you know I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that must be a replacement because this one ain't. This one ain't called at all. No, I don't think I put that in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Punch myself in the face. You gotta try it from. There we go. Yeah, now just work it. See this? I think I took this corner. Get. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if it would have ran or not. Mm -hmm. Golly. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm not sure. Golly. That, ain't never been cleaned at it. <laughs> That's pretty bad. What we're going to do is just take a, some rags and just start cleaning down in there. He's going to take parts cleaner to the filters. Try to get it at least somewhat cleared up. But that's what we're gonna do, so y'all gotta stand by. So you guys already see what I'm digging out of this stuff. I think just clean it clean it with diesel. Just clean it and whatever it comes off comes off, I guess. <laughs> uh, get it, ain't you? Yeah, it looks like we're about to get it. Good thing we've done that, cause that would that would definitely stop the injectors up. <laughs> yeah. uh, if it didn't already. I don't think you can get on with that. <laughs> You want some rags? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah. I... Here. Yeah, look at that. I can actually see the bottom now, but it is nasty. There's there's actually, I don't know what, I mean, it's goop. It looks like, is that water on top of that? Looks like water. That ain't good. F from what we're looking at, it looks like water. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely cleaner. That's definitely water. Not much, just a little bit in there. It gets in fuel. You can't. I ain't seen no daggum water separator nowhere. So it. Yeah, that's right. We're making progress up here, Brandon. Yeah. If y'all can see that stuff he's pulling off there or not. Just. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that thing went in there. I'm glad we pulled that off. We'd have been scratching our heads trying to figure out what was wrong with it the whole time. I hope that. I hope ain't nothing wrong with it. I hope we once we do this, it allows enough fuel to travel up through there. This is what we're working with here. We separated the top of this fuel filter here. And you get these four canisters or these four tubes of filters. So what these used to be like, they used to have old school filters where they'd be like toilet paper filters or paper towel filters. And this is kind of the same idea you can see. It's just, it's literally just paper or rag or something. Fiber. Yeah, rag. some kind of fiber that's, that's just cool. spun, you know, spun on top of these metal sheets. So they go in four of them and all you do to take them out is compress this spring and pull this pin out and then the filter comes out so what we're going to actually do we're going to try to crank it without filters i think running it without filters since we've cleaned it uh, of all of this yeah is probably going to be the better option yeah, i think so too <laughs> ready i can't see it so say when is that good when <laughs> yeah, you're a little delayed on that, huh? Oh, cool. Yeah. 
That's probably like the equivalent of a float, I bet, ain't it? Liquid wrench out. Right here? Let me, let me spray this real quick, Tommy, before you put it on. Maybe. What else you think we are to try? Crank it up. Crank it up. I think that's about where we are. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's put the magical starter button back on it. I don't know if I want to be back. I know. I got it. Where's my escaper out at? Here? Know, this thing right? blows up. So the plan is, Brandel. Not to die. The plan is not to die. So Brandel's going to hit the starter switch. I've got a 5 8 <laughs> wrench. Golly. And I'm going to take this fuel line off here it, to cut it off with. That's that's the plan if it cranks. What'd you say well, earlier, Tommy, about everybody you know what? It did. It didn't run anything <laughs> but one fella. Yeah. I knew three or four guys that run them, but I, they all died. Yeah. So, all right. Well, here, let's talk about this. Did we ever talk about this, the, the throttle and the kill? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Well, so, we talked about where the throttle cable went up here. Okay, so let's, let's talk about that first. Like, this is like... That's plan A. Yeah, this is plan A. Yeah. So plan A to shut it off is here with the throttle. So we're going to see if this revs it up and that should kill it. Oh yeah, I hear it. So this should be the kill. Plan B is then to take the yeah, right. to take the fuel line off. So, All right, let's see. Let's I ahead. wish I had two cameras to do the smokestack, but I ain't, fellas. So yeah. here we go. Watch your fingers there, Tommy, on that fan. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Well, and... <laughs> <laughs> I need to get I need to get shielded because I've drowned them before, right? All right. All right. So everybody got their escape routes planned? Yeah, hold on a second. I don't to be honest with you. I'm serious. All right. All right, we ready? All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here, yeah, 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 this is sick. Oh, it's a fuel problem, dude. Oh, and the, the batteries are hot. Yeah, the batteries are smoking a little bit. Are you kidding me? It hit. I right, go ahead. Did you work this throttle at all? I tried to, yeah. It's running off ether. Yeah. That's awesome, though. I mean, kind of... I think I think it's fuel. I yeah. think. Observations. Will it start? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but definitely, it's uh, definitely a fuel system issue. Yeah, I think so. So for sure. Man, it sounded good though, didn't it? Yeah, it sounded real good. So I think you know, just a little bit of tinkering with the fuel system would get it. And I mean, there's I'm sure that there's probably some adjustment over here. Yeah. You know, with the throttle maybe. You know, the kill switch might have even been sticking or something. That's right. You know. Man, what a fun project that was, huh? I, I think we can get it running if we figure out the fuel issue, right? I so, think so yeah. The, yeah. the fuel filters, 
uh, need to be obviously. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> something I, needs to be done yeah. with the fuel filter, and probably need to check the air filter too. It's the it's the oil bath kind of yeah. air filter. So the air filter and the fuel filters, and I'm pretty sure this thing will will. And you know, you could hear it running off the ether yeah. or whatever. So that was really really cool. So it's a uh, it's not locked up. That's good. It's got the fluids in it that will make it run. We just need to get the fuel flow up, and I'm assuming that the injectors are probably not. Yeah. Accurate. So we were we were talking about air and where the gaskets are. You know, when the, that stack that we had those fuel when we pulled that fuel filter out or that fuel filter stack out you know that had gaskets in it that we basically destroyed when we took yeah. it when we took it apart so you know getting the gasket put back on that putting the clean filters in running some type of even some type of fuel cleaner like a sea foam or mm -hmm. something like that probably not a bad idea to get that running again it was pretty cool to see that to see that happen and see that cranked up man it's, i mean how many years has them yeah, cylinders awesome. those pistons been frozen in time you know and we were able to at least at least get the heart beating again a little bit so that was pretty cool so, hey, if you're interested in any of the stuff that we've used in the video I'll, I'll put the links in the description below your you know our shirts or tools or whatever just look below and you can see those there hey make sure you guys go follow country life on his channel i'm gonna put his little circle right here so click on that to subscribe to his channel on top of that is our little white circle it's just covered up brandle's beautiful face here so click on that to subscribe to our channel and then underneath my torso here is a video of that we done in volvo semi and i won't ruin the surprise for you on that one but that's a really cool video so you guys go check that out god bless